which has two different chord progressions. Um, and then we'll go to the back to the intro, uh, which is kind of a variation of the first chord progression of the chorus. So starting with the riff, we're just gonna break down the, um, the punches. So the punches will be on what's called the B uh, power chord. Uh, for those of you that are new to power chords, what you're gonna do with the, B, with the power chord is you're just going to put your finger on a certain note. In this case, it's gonna be B on the um, second fret of the fifth string. And then you're gonna use either your ring or pinky to go two frets above that and one string down. In this song, I prefer using my pinky because there's a bit of a stretch when you start doing the riff. So let's just hit that power chord there. We're just gonna focus on those two strings with our strumming hand. So from there, um, we're going to hit that B power chord on a certain, uh, certain beat. And when you're counting in music, you count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And in the middle of that, you can also put hits um, right in the middle of one and two, in the middle of two and three, in the middle of three and four, in the middle of four and one. So that's gonna be um, called eighth notes. Um, the way we count that is one and two and three and four and. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit this B power chord um, on the and of four, or the and after four. And you're gonna do that four times. So let's try that. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and. Then you're gonna go over to F sharp, which is going to be on the second fret of the sixth string, and you're gonna put the power chord on top of it again. And then you're gonna play just those two strings. You're gonna hit that on the and of one. So coming from the last hit of B, one and two and three and four and one and. Right after that, you're going to go to C, which is the third fret of the fifth string. And again, with the power chord. And you're gonna hit this on the and of two. So putting it together from the last hit of B, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So if you put the whole um, the whole thing together with the punches in the riff, uh, this is what we have: one and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three and four and. So. Once you've got that, you have the basic parts of that um, riff, and if you want to, you can start playing along to the song. So that's where it's a kind of a good um, starting point for beginners. And then there are notes between the punches. So after the first punch, we're gonna do an eighth note run, which means we're gonna consistently play eighth notes. 
and we're going to start it on the and of one with uh, F sharp, which is going to be your pinky on the fourth fret of the fourth string. So it's actually right where you left off um, with the B power chord. So you have B power chord right here, and then you have F sharp with your uh, pinky on the fourth fret of the fourth string. So that's going to be your first note on the end of one. You're going to go to E, which is the second fret of the fourth string, with your pointer. And then you're going to go to D, which is open. You're just going to let go of that on the fourth string. And then you have B, which is pointer on the second fret of the fifth string. A, which is open um, of the fifth string. And then you have B flat, which is the first fret of the fifth string. And you're going to use your pointer. So when you put that together with the punch, you have one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And you're going to go back to B for the second punch. Um, so along with this, you want to use a palm mute technique. Uh, for those of you that are new to palm mute, uh, you just put your palm right at the bridge of the guitar, so right where the strings start. And you want to kind of make it just straight down. So pretend you're chopping the strings, but not too hard. Yeah, and then so when you place your palm on it, you have this sound. So right at the punches, you want to let go of that palm mute. Right when you get to the notes or the um, single string ones, palm mute. So a demonstration of that. Uh, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So after the second punch, it's going to be the same concept. You're doing eighth note runs um, on the end of one. This time you're going to start on E on the open of the sixth string. Then you're going to go to F sharp on the second fret of the sixth string. Use your pointer on this one. Then G, third fret of the sixth string, using your um, middle finger. You're going to hit that twice. Then going over to A on the open fret of the fifth string. And then back to B flat on the first fret of the fifth string with your pointer. So starting from the second punch, you have one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and that's along with the palm mutes. Then after the third punch, uh, another eighth note run starting on the end of one and palm mute it again. This time you're going to start on the F sharp fourth fret of the fourth string just like with your um, after the first punch. Go to E with your pointer, second fret of the fourth string. D, open, fourth string. Then you're going to go to C, which is the third fret of the fifth string, using your second finger or your middle finger. And you hit that twice. So, uh, demonstrating just those, those notes after the punch, you have one and two and three and four and one and two and three and... And then after that, you're going to just go to your punches um, on the B on the end of four, uh, F sharp on the end of one, and C on the end of two. So just demonstrating after the third punch, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So you put that whole riff together, and this is what you have. One and two and three and four and one. So that repeats through the whole um, verse part. So next we're going to go over the chorus parts, and I'm going to split it into two different sections because there's two different chord progressions. So the first chord progression, um, we're just going to go over the chords first and the timing of when to hit them, and then we'll go over the, the um, strumming hand or the, the picking hand, the types of rhythms that are used with that. So the first chord is going to be a D, and you're going to put your pointer on the fifth fret of the fifth string, and you're going to do the power chord again. 
This time my preference is to use my ring because it's just easier to get through the chords with it. I'm just more used to it and some people might be more used to the pinky moving through and some people might be more used to the ring moving through. So starting with D, fifth fret of the fifth string with power chord on the one. So one. You're gonna hold that for a full measure. So one, two, three, four. You're gonna go to A, which is the fifth fret of the sixth string and you're going to put the power chord on top of it, hit that on one. One, two, three, four. And you hold that for a full measure. Then you're gonna to go to G, which is the third fret of the sixth string, power chord. Hold that for a full measure. One, two, three, four. And right on the end of four, you're gonna to go to C, which is starting on the third fret of the fifth string, and power chord it. So just demonstrating those four chords so far. One, two, ready, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. After that, you're gonna go to E, which is the um, open fret of the sixth string. And then you're gonna go to the second fret of the fifth string with your pointer. This one's a little bit different, but it's still a power chord. And that's gonna hit on one, and you're gonna hold it for four beats. One, two, three, four. Then you're gonna to go to C sharp, which is on the fourth fret of the fifth string, and you're gonna hold this for two beats. So one, two, and you're gonna to go to F sharp, which is the second fret of the sixth string, hold that for two more beats. So three, four. So starting from the E, we have one, two, Four, C sharp one, two, and F sharp three, four. And then after that, we're gonna go on to B, which is the second fret of the fifth string. You're gonna hold that for four beats. One, two, three, four. Then back to C sharp, fourth fret of the fifth string. And you're gonna hold that for two beats. One, two. And then D, fifth fret of the fifth string. Hold it for two beats. Three, four. So I'll demonstrate the whole um, chorus part one. So starting from the D. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two. Once so you got that, we can start adding in the palm mutes. So with the palm mutes, most of the time you have sections where you ring out, where you hold the chord out for a full measure or two beats. And then you have some parts where you have to um, do eighth note strumming downwards. And um, with that, we're gonna have some palm mutes and some releasing the palm mutes. So we'll kind of break it down here. When you play your first D chord, you're gonna hold it uh, for a full measure, just like you did earlier. So one, two, three, four. Hold A for a full measure. One, two, three, four. Hold G for a full measure. One, two, three, four. And so on the end of four, you're hitting C. Hold it for a full measure. One, two, three, four. And this is where we start adding in um, palm mute variations. So when you play your E, you're gonna palm mute and you're gonna play eighth notes. But you're gonna release the palm mute on one, and the end of two, and the end of three. So this is what it'll sound like with just the E chord um, with the palm mutes. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. Then you go over to C sharp. You're gonna hold that for two beats, just like you did earlier. One, two and then F sharp hold for two beats, three, four. So putting those previous three chords together from the E, one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four. You're gonna play B, palm muting eighth notes, and release on one. So one, and two, and three, and four, and. And then you're gonna go to C sharp, and you're gonna uh, just play eighth notes without palm muting. And I like to do a down, up, down, up this time just to give it a more open sound. So 
C sharp, and to N, and then go to D, do the same thing, and or N. So I'll demonstrate that whole chorus, the part one of the chorus. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four. And one, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, and four. And one, and two, and three, and four. And then we go to part two of the chorus. And uh, these are the chords that you're going to be playing. You're going to start with G third fret of the sixth string, and you're going to hold it out for two measures. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then you're going to go to F sharp, which is going to be just one fret lower on the second fret of the sixth string. Hold it, uh, hold it for full measure. One, two, three, four. And on the end of four, you're going to go to B, which is the second fret of the fifth string. So after F sharp, one, two, three, four, and. So let's go over those three chords of the um, chorus part two. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Then you're gonna go to E, which is the open of the sixth string with the pointer on the second fret of the fifth string, and you're gonna hold that for four beats. One, two, three, four. Go to A, which is a similar concept. You're gonna play the um, open of the fifth string with your, sec uh, with your pointer finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and you're gonna hold that for four beats. One, two, three, four. On the end of four, you're gonna go to D, which is going to be on the fifth fret of the fifth string. So. Four. So I'll demonstrate those previous three chords from the E. One, two, ready, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. And you hold this for two measures. So just going through those power chords in the uh, part two of the chorus, we have starting from G. One, two, ready, and one, two, three, four. One, two. Four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So then putting in the palm mutes, um, right when you start G, you're going to hold that for one measure, and then on the second measure, you're going to start palm muting um, eighth notes. So one, two, three, four, palm mute, two, and three, and four, and and then you're going to go to F sharp, and you're going to palm mute down all eighth notes, and you're going to release on beat one, the end of two, and the end of three. So one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and. Then you're going to B, and you're going to palm mute, release on the end of four when you hit first, and you're going to release on two and release on the end of three. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So I'll demonstrate up to there. So starting from G, one, two, ready, and one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then you're gonna go to E and you're gonna palm mute all down, and you're gonna release on one, the end of two, and the end of three. So that's one, two, ready, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. A, you're gonna do the same thing. Um, palm mute all down, release on one, end of two, and the end of three. One, two, ready, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. And then you're gonna, go to, you're gonna go to D on the end of four, and you're going to release on, um, within the first measure, you're gonna release on the first hit on the end of four, you're gonna release on two, and the end of three. So that's one and two and three and four, and one and two and three and four and.
Then on the second measure, you're going to release on beat one, release on the end of two, and release on four. So that sounds like this with just the second measure. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and. So you put those two measures of the D together, and you have one, two, three, four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So I'm going to demonstrate starting from that second part of the chorus on G. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. part we're going to go over is the intro and it's similar to the first part of the chorus so that's where you started on uh, D and you went to A so we're going to do the same thing hold out D for full measure hold out A for a full measure um, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. so then we're going to go to G and we're going to add our pinky on the sixth fret of the third string and then when you do this you want to keep your pointer um, kind of flattened down so it mutes some of the other strings. So the only strings that should be pressing down, or the only fingers that should be pressing down are your pointer, your uh, ring, and your pinky on that sixth fret of the third string. You have this kind of sound. So if you put it together with those two chords, um, you have the first three chords of the intro. You have D, one, two, three, four, A, one, two, then you're going to go to G with the pinky, and you hold that for four beats, so one, two, three, four. Then just like in the part one of the chorus, you're going to hit the um, C on the end of four, so after G, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. And then you're going to go to E, and you're going to eighth note palm mute, release on one, and the end of two. So one, and two, and three, and four. Then you go up to G without the pinky this time, and you have the um, you're gonna play for the first two beats, eighth note, palm mute, release on one. So one and two and, and you go to A, and you're going to play it for two beats, palm mute, release on beat three. So three and four and. So I'm gonna play that whole thing starting from D, and I'm gonna go straight back into the main riff. So you hear what the intro sounds like into the riff. So one two. Three, four, two, three, four, A, one, two, three, four, G with the pinky, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, red. Hope you enjoyed the lesson and I hope you found it helpful. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe, and I hope to catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.